Okay, refrigerator problems. Uh, plug it in. Listen to it. So we hear the, it sounds like the compressor is running. We'll have to take a look. Let's see. Definitely got, got the condenser fan up here that is blowing. Got lights. And there's the thermostat. It's turned up all the way to nine. It's not a good sign. And the freezer is set to coldest. I always leave this in the middle, but it probably won't do any good. <sighs> this one's probably lost. It either has a clogged filter or it has a small freon leak. Very likely. That compressor's probably running. So if we take this back off, we hear this fan. This is the condenser fan or whatever the uh, evaporator fan here making a bunch of noise then we have the compressor if you feel the compressor you can feel that it's running and those coils in there look pretty rusty so because this thing's running and it doesn't get cold it's got major problems it's got major problems so this thing is probably good 15 years old and probably more like 20 so this one's gonna get recycled because normally it's not worth replacing the compressors unless you want to spend two to three hundred bucks to replace your compressor and or basically it could be re uh, regassed theoretically probably have to change the filter but theoretically it could be regassed it's pretty old once it's regassed, you can spend 200 bucks, maybe 100 bucks, have it regassed. This this actually is probably uh, outlawed refrigerant, so you probably couldn't get this one uh, regassed. So this one is probably going to be seeing better days. Probably going to the recycling center. And usually you can tell if you've had it plugged in for like maybe five five minutes, you should be able to feel feel it getting pretty cold back in here right now it doesn't feel too cold doesn't feel too cold at all and so this one here gonna be history here yeah so if you feel back here on the back wall after you've had it plugged in for about five minutes uh, it's probably not gonna be coming back to life and particularly if you have moved this if you uh, move these and lay them down uh, my experience is never lay these things down. I never lay them down anymore. I used to, but I never do it anymore. I used to have one that I laid down for only a half hour, let it set back upright for two weeks, and then it didn't come back to life. So I never lay them down after that. Supposedly, you could tip them. I would tip it and put something underneath it so it doesn't lay completely flat in an emergency and the theory is basically um, for however long you lay it down you want to lay it on the try and look and see where the compressor is so that you lay it on the lay it on the side where there's least amount of tip on the compressor and the theory is if you lay it down you should leave it upright for twice as long as you laid it down now I've heard that some of the new refrigerators there's no problem with that but I haven't experienced that situation myself right now but thanks for watching if you need any help i give phone advice for 25 707-443-8347 pacific time thanks for watching